In this section, we will explain how to connect various accessories to your CDTV player. Remember to disconnect all power before connecting any accessory to your CDTV player. On the back of your CDTV player, there are a number of ports and connectors for attaching different accessories. On the lower left is the power receptacle for connecting the AC power cord. Here is the wired remote port. Here is where you would connect an optional wired remote control device. Above the power cord receptacle is the keyboard port. This is for connecting an optional CDTV typewriter style keyboard. The keyboard can also be used with an optional infrared remote brick. There are other optional accessories available, such as infrared trackball brick and infrared game brick. Next are the left and right audio connectors. These can be attached to a TV, VCR, or stereo system. To connect your CDTV player to a stereo using the audio cables that came with your CDTV player. Connect the audio cable to the left and right audio outputs on the back of your CDTV player as shown. Then, connect the other left and right connections to the audio inputs of your amplifier, stereo VCR, or stereo TV. If you don't have a stereo VCR or TV, and you wish to use the audio outputs on the CD TV player, you will have to purchase a Y adapter cable from an electronics or video store. First, connect the stereo audio cable to the back of the CDTV player as shown. Then, connect the two leads from the Y adapter cable to the left and right audio cables. Finally, connect the single lead from the Y adapter cable to your VCR or TV. Here is the floppy disk drive port. If you wish to turn your CDTV player into a computer, this is where you would connect an optional CDTV floppy disk drive. Here is the serial port. This is for connecting accessories such as a printer. Here is the parallel port. It is where you would connect a device such as a parallel printer. There are four different types of video signals that you can send to a television set, VCR, or monitor. They are... RF or radio frequency signals which are compatible with almost all television sets like the signals from an antenna or cable TV composite video signals which are a higher quality and are compatible with many late model television sets and VCRs like the video out and video in S-type video signals, which give a still better picture and are compatible with the most advanced television sets and VCRs. S stands for super. And RGB video signals, which can be sent to a monitor. RGB stands for red, green, blue. Some countries may have connections for PAL or SCART TV sets. Here is the RGB video port. This port only sends video signals to a monitor. To connect your CDTV player to an Amiga computer monitor using the RGB port. Your Amiga RGB monitor will come with its own RGB cable. If you do not have an Amiga RGB monitor cable, you will have to purchase an Amiga RGB cable from an electronics or computer store. 
Connect one end of the Amiga RGB cable to the RGB port on the back of the CD-TV player. Connect the other end of the Amiga RGB cable to the RGB monitor. Since the RGB connections only send video information, you will have to connect the audio ports to your stereo, VCR, or TV. Refer to the audio ports section of the interactive tutorial for more information on connecting the audio. Here is the S-Video connector. Again, this sends only video signals. If you use the S-Video connector, you will have to connect the audio to your TV, VCR, or to a stereo. To connect your CD-TV player to a TV or VCR using the S-Video port, you will have to purchase an S-Video cable from an electronics or video store. Connect one end of the S-Video cable to the S-Video port on the back of the CD-TV player. Connect the other end of the S-Video cable to the S-Video in port on your VCR or TV. Since the S-Video connections only send video information, you will have to connect the audio ports to your stereo, VCR, or TV. Refer to the audio ports section of the interactive tutorial for more information on connecting the audio. This is the composite video connector. Like the RGB port, this sends only video signals. If you use this connector, you will have to connect the audio ports to your TV, VCR, or to a stereo. To connect your CD-TV player to a TV or VCR using the composite video, sometimes just referred to as video out or video in, you will have to purchase a composite video cable from an electronics or video store. Connect one end of the composite video cable to the composite video port on the back of the CD-TV player. Connect the other end of the composite video cable to the video in port on your VCR or TV. Since the composite video connections only send video information, you will have to connect the audio ports to your stereo, VCR, or TV. Refer to the audio ports section of the interactive tutorial for more information on connecting the audio. Here is the RF connector. This sends both video and audio signals to the RF converter that came with your CD-TV player. Next is the switch to change which channel RF signals will be sent to your television. If you are using the RF converter, you can adjust your TV set and this switch to either channel 3 or channel 4. These are the MIDI in and MIDI out ports. They are for connecting to MIDI devices, such as electronic keyboards, drum machines, or other devices that accept MIDI control. Be sure to read the instructions that come with any CD-TV accessory or external device for more information on hookup and use.